broth, stock, what are the differences? What do they mean? What are you really making? That's what we're talking about on today's Ask Wardy. For links and more, visit the show notes, askwardy.tv, episode 151. If you're familiar with gut healing diets or you do any healthy home cooking, you will see recipes calling for broth or stock. And the terms are sometimes used interchangeably, but they really do have particular meanings. So today in Ask Wardy, I'm gonna share with you what exactly broth means, what stock means, so that you can know going forward what you're making and what recipes are calling for. Broth is the liquid in which meat is cooked. It doesn't necessarily include bones, but it often does. It may include vegetables and it's often seasoned too. And then you have bone broth. That's a special kind of broth that's cooked for even longer than regular broth or stock, which I'll discuss in a moment. And bone broth always includes bones and connective tissues of animals. Now let's talk about stock. Stock often has a richer flavor and it always includes bones. It's cooked for a longer amount of time than regular broth and that is to allow the nutrients and flavor to be released from the bones. And if you're familiar with gut healing diets like GAPS, you've probably heard of meat stock and bone stock. So it's important to know the difference between those. Meat stock is used at the beginning of the GAPS diet and it's only cooked for two to three hours, so a shorter amount of time. This stock is thought to help the gut healing process at the beginning of a gut healing diet. Here is how the author of the GAPS diet, Dr. Natasha Campbell McBride, describes meat stock. To make good meat stock, you need joints, bones, a piece of meat on the bone, a whole chicken, giblets from chicken, goose, or duck, whole pigeons, pheasants, or other inexpensive meats. It is essential to use bones and joints as they provide the healing substances, not so much the muscle meats. Ask the butcher to cut in half the large tubular bones so you can get the bone marrow out of them after cooking. Put the bones, joints, and meats into a large pan and fill it up with water. Add natural unprocessed salt to your taste at the beginning of the cooking and about a teaspoon of black peppercorns roughly crushed. Bring to boil, cover, and simmer on low heat for two and a half to three hours. So that was meat stock, which you eat at the earlier stages of the GAPS diet, and bone stock is used in the later stages of the GAPS diet once the healing has begun. It's cooked for much longer than meat stock, like 48 to 72 hours. So there you have it, the differences between broth and stock, and even some particular types of broth and particular types of stock. So now you know what you're making, and hopefully the recipes that you're following are using the terms as we've discussed here. But even so, like I've said, the terms are used interchangeably. And if a recipe calls for stock and you put in broth or a recipe calls for broth and you put in stock, it's probably gonna turn out okay. Please do pay attention to the particularities though if you're on a gut healing diet, because as we just saw with a GAPS diet, it does make a difference. And you wanna use meat stock in the beginning and bone stock in later stages of the diet. If you wanna bookmark or share this information, be sure to head to askwardy.tv and look for episode 150 51, where I have the transcript, links, and also a free gift for you. And that gift is that we have a free traditional cooking video series. So if this interests you, then you'll be interested in all the other topics of traditional cooking that can help you get more nutrition from the foods you're already eating to improve the nutrition and digestibility. So I have a free traditional cooking video series for you that introduces you to more fundamentals of traditional cooking like broth, as well as a whole bunch of free e-booklets on different topics of traditional cooking that can help take your knowledge further. And it's all free and available for you at tradcookschool.com slash yours free, where yours free is all one word. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again, same time, same place next week for another episode of Ask Wordy. God bless you all. Bye-bye.